Hi, YouTube. This is Brandon, my boyfriend, and we're going to do a Christmas haul today. Yay, Christmas. We had a great Christmas. We exchanged gifts here, and then we went up to my grandparents and did an exchange there, stayed over, and had a Christmas dinner. We mm. got a lot of awesome gifts this year. My favorite of my gifts, though, is my label maker, which I asked for, if you guys remember. I've already labeled it. I'm never in the camera when I do this. I already labeled it with my student number and my name. It has a kitty cat next to it. Ugh. I always go the wrong way with the camera. And it has a lot of different settings. If you can see it has, um, I can't see all this thing. Fonts, width, size, um, what's it, style. And then over here, it can have borders. So you can put like a cityscape or some flowers or something around it. Question oh, that's marks. What that button does. Yeah. The next yeah. one, you can add like explanation marks, at signs, stars, hearts, people's faces, cats. Can you add llamas? No, there's no llamas. There's uh, yeah. rabbits, though. Sad. Um, what is that button? I can't see it. I don't actually know what that one does. I think that's the enter. That looks like no, the enter. No, enter is the big key. It's just like a keyboard. Oh. And Weird. then you print it off using this button, which shows the print symbol, which is amazingly normal. And then over here, it comes out right there. And then you click the green button down, and it cuts the thingy, the label. label. And then you can peel it and stick it on something. It's awesome. It's my favorite present so far. But there's one thing wrong with it. It takes six pat batteries, and the store doesn't actually sell you the cord. So you need to buy the cord separately, which the company that sold it to me failed to tell us. Well, sold it to my mom. Failed to tell us bad sales skills, if you ask me. I got a lot of tools this Christmas. This is one of the... What? Really? Backing what? ways I hold up the saw. <laughs> It's you, sharp. You just saw it through a box with yeah. it. How's it saw through the box but not your hand? Look, there's like, look at that. There's 24 teeth per inch. Yeah, but it's sawed through cardboard. Why can't it saw through flesh? It can. It's just... You're not pressing hard enough? Yeah. Okay, stop. That's just, no, that's making me nervous. Don't. Okay, so you got a saw. What type of saw yeah, is it? Explain. Um... Show it to the camera. <laughs> Show the whole thing. Yeah. It's all curved for yeah. getting into tight spaces. It's curved so that I, because I, the hacksaws are almost obsolete, but the main use of them is to get into tight spaces and cut stuff off at, cut stuff off at floor level. Yeah, so it can go at an interesting angle so your knuckles don't get caught on yeah, the ground. Yeah, because... Uh, yeah. This little peg here goes on a 45 so that I can hold the saw like this and still cut straight. The next thing from my pile is George R. R. Martin. I got Game of Thrones for Christmas, the entire box set. And they show that guy on the side. I haven't read them yet, so I'm not quite sure who he is. I know he's a bad guy or something. Actually, I have no idea who he is. He looks like a bad guy. He looks like a bad guy. But then again, so did Snape and Harry Potter. I can see the screen reflecting in this. Yeah, but Snape's still not a very nice person. Well, and there's another well, picture. Yeah. And that's the first of my books. Should I show all my books and then you can show your next item since I have books? Or do you want yeah, to do yours next? Yeah, let's show all your books. All right, so this is the first of my books. My second book that I got was well, more of a calendar, actually. My nonna, grandmother... It's an Italian. Gave me this calendar. It's a fashion day planner for 2014. And Thank you for your tea. hey, I was gonna drink that. It got cold. I didn't think you would. I was planning to. And oh, it's just like all sorry. kinds of fashions. And it goes through from like dresses like that to dresses like this. Um, there's costume stuff. So like. This sort of stuff. Let's make that flatter. Make sure your calendar is. This dress, I think I that's really that pretty. What? I don't want to show. Whoa. Why not? Stuff. I don't know. Um, these kimonos. Oh, they have kimonos. Nice. I don't know how much Maya told you about me, but 
I like trucks. So her dad got me a uh, pumped up pickups truck. I mean, pickups calendar. And it's awesome because it's like trucks. tons trucks. of different trucks. 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 Hummer. That's not a truck. <laughs> Why is that even in there? That's not a truck. Because Hummers, a, Hummers are... It's got a little teeny truck bed. Look yeah. at this thing. It doesn't have a truck back. Look at that. that that's that's not a truck. No, that's a Hummer. It's a Hummer. <laughs> yeah. I also got this awesome book from my aunt and my cousin and my uncle on Design Sponge at Home by Grace Bonney. It is basically do-it-yourself projects on interior design and stuff. So, like, they have do-it-yourself projects, like boxes, or crates that go on the wall with, like, patterned paper inside them. Hey, you could use the Cumberland Crate Company. I was thinking that. about that. Um, hey. Stamped nice curtains. Stamped curtains. Ottoman, mm. well, cat scratch posts with fabric around them, which kind of look like ottomans to me, but they look like they could be interesting. Cats will never use them, though. They'll scratch your carpet instead. They show you how to reupholster things. Ugh, wrong page. Uh, mm. Can't really see it. There. Reupholster things. It's, it's just awesome. I love this book. I've looked through it like eight times now. I'm excited to try out some of the projects. The next thing I got for Christmas was this awesome crock pot recipe book with 365 year-round recipes. I didn't really realize that, actually. You think I'd have read the cover before I looked at it, but I just saw the Sloppy Joes. <laughs> and it's got, like, chicken pasta done in a crock pot. I'm taking your head off with the book right now. I know. I have a recipe it's for a nice breeze, bread pudding done in a crock pot. I have a recipe for... I don't know. Bacon wrapped fingerling potatoes with thyme. Ooh, yeah, that looks good. Bacon wrapped fingerling potatoes with thyme. Thyme. It has thyme in it. Not was chives. Thyme. I was going to say thyme. chives. What was thyme? It's, it's thyme. It's just spelled with a T-H-Y. You know how I got, how I said most of the tools that I got this Christmas are aluminum, like this one, um, which makes them really light. I also, I didn't technically get it for Christmas. I got it for Boxing Day with Christmas money. So I'm... It, it's with a, a discount. It, it, yeah, it, it was a 25, with a 25% discount. It was awesome. I got... <laughs> not one. <laughs> but... Two. Those are cold. They were out in my car. What do you expect? They're solid metal. Okay. Two. Twenty. Uh, uh, Don't hit me. Two 24 inch pipe uh, aluminum pipe wrenches. From, and they're, they're rigid, which is pretty much the only ba brand you should bother Fine. even looking at for pipe wrenches. And they're extremely light. Yeah, the exact same wrench in steel would be like 10 pounds. This one's like maybe two. He he tested it on me. It worked. Those things are very light compared to the other ones, even though they're heavy. They're a lot lighter than the other guys. And they're awesome. They're gray. <laughs> I'm an interior design. What do you expect? They're prettier well, than the fakey red ones. They're orange. They're fakey looking. They look like they're coated in plastic and it's ugly. Well, that, that's so they don't spark as much when they hit stuff. So those ones spark? How's that good then? No, these, one, these ones don't spark as much because they're made out of a different metal. Oh, okay. Yeah. Never mind then. But We've been here 20 minutes. Yeah, I know. This one, just for one to buy one of these brand new, is like 130 bucks before tax. And I got two of them for 126 after tax. So it worked out to be like... 60 bucks each. Which is really good for those. They're yeah. top of the Cause, line. Because if you can see on the price tag, they were 75 and they were 56.27. No, 56.25 before tax. 
what one of the guys one of the guys that's in my course that I'm doing right now to go into plumbing is jealous because I took a picture and showed him. He's yeah. It was amusing. What's next? For my other aunt, I got this awesome Adidas bag. It's a laptop bag. It has an opening from this side with pocket, but it also, if I zip this back up, I don't need to zip it up, but it'll make it easier, has a opening from this side to get into the same pocket. So you can open and take your laptop out from there, which will be really convenient for my drafting class next semester. Definitely going to be using this for my laptop. Was that from Monica or Irene? Irene. Uh, the next thing that I got was this uh, football ornament from Maya. This is the ornament I got from my mom. It's really pretty. It's a peacock. And it has this nice little tail. And it's really shiny. You can't quite tell on the camera, but it's got sparkliness all over it. Glitter. Glitter. The next shiny object I got was this from Brandon. It's a bracelet with my name, well, an M, and it's really pretty. And next, I have this necklace from my mom, which she got at a craft fair, and it's awesome. It's got, like, gears and a grandfather clock in it. You can probably see it better at that angle. You can put it, you put it way up close. It gets really there. fuzzy, uh, but you can kind of see it. Yeah. It's not very good focus. It's just a computer camera, so yeah. I'm going to have to get a better camera. I'm gonna try and find one at the thrift store. Camcorder. My last piece of jewelry. I got these pretty earrings from Brandon, which are little. What are they? Topaz. Um, freshwater pearls with topaz. They're freshwater pearls with topaz. They're super pretty. I love them. The next thing that I got was Maya got me. These two ornaments, they're pictures of us. This, they, whoa, I picked the right one, I don't know how. This <laughs> one, the picture was from when we went on a camping trip this summer. And uh, I think that was in the back of your dad's van. I don't know, but I took it with a Polaroid, which was pretty fun. Oh, you cut down the Polaroid? Yeah, I managed, I just took scissors to them. I thought they'd be like leak ink or something, because they've got these weird like jello-y bits at the bottom and the top. But if you cut it off below that, it doesn't matter. They're both uh, Polaroids from my camera. I just cut them down. Yeah, and then this one was like, uh, was like uh, two weeks ago or something. Yeah, I had to sneak up on him and take that one. So the last big thing that I got, Maya gave me... Made you. Made. That is true. She did not give. She made. She made me... Oh, those look really patterned on there. Well, Two they're, green They're posts. not as patterned as they seem on there. Well, if you zoom in, they're not as patterned. Yeah. Back here, they look like... Busy. Busy. Up here, they're probably not as patterned. Yeah, they look more normal. Yeah. And, and then, it's just, a, just solid uh, green. If you haven't noticed, green is my favorite color. I got this awesome but extremely heavy collection from my mom. It's called The Winter Collection for her. And it has... Spray and go and go most. Yeah, I wonder if there's just a list of things. Body wash, shampoo, conditioner, moisturizer, lip balm, hairspray, facial wipes, beauty bar, and cotton swabs. And it is ginormous and heavy. Ask him, it's actually quite heavy for just being beauty products. This weighs more than the 24 inch pipe wrench. And I don't even use that much makeup, it's mostly hair stuff. That concludes. Maya's video of our Christmas haul. Happy holidays and happy new year.